Gotta take it all in. The Hall of Fame. Will every kid dream of being one day? No matter how fast, how strong, how smart you are. This is about determination and heart. And for me, I'm being inducted. Yeah, me of all people being inducted to the Hall of Fame. The trials and tribulations I had to get through to get to this point. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. But you know what? I'm going to let you know my story on how I got here. And this right here, this is where it all started for me. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, I can go on and on about Georgia, but you know what? People don't show you the real side of Atlanta. But let me be the first. Let me be the first to show you the real side of Atlanta. And this right here, this, this is the real Atlanta. But the streets don't care nothing about you. So you have to watch your back, watch your every move. Cause once the streets claim you, it ain't no coming back. So I'm glad my parents got me and my brothers out of this situation. Cause if they didn't, man, I'm just thankful I made out alive. Me and my brothers. And this right here, this is the results that you get being part of the streets. So that's why I'm saying I'm lucky and I'm blessed that my parents made the right decision for me and my brothers to get us out of this situation. Because if they didn't, like I say, I wouldn't be here talking to you. So you know what? My parents made the best decision for me and my brothers. So we helped them move. Move to have a better life. That we moved here. Back to Texas. They probably want them back to Texas. Yeah, this is my first time moving here, but this is where my dad is from. A local high school legend. Legend at the next level, Texas Longhorns. He even made it to the league. But his 10 year career, off and on injuries, he had to call it quits. But during his playing days, he saved up all his earnings and open up a lawn care business. Now people thought he was crazy about doing that, but you know what? This business is a multi-million dollar business now. Now who's laughing? Now some people say, it's a big shoe to fill. You know what? I'm just gonna here to play my game, man. Playing the game that I love. A game that I've been playing since I was four years old. You know what? The pressure's not on me. As long as I come out here and do my thing, that's all I can do. Oh, we just had one play. One play, and we in the playoffs. That's all we gotta do. Make one play, score one play, and we in the playoffs. And my teammates and coaches trusted me, man. They trusted me to make this one play. And you know what? I feel short. I feel short. I was heartbroken. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It was heartbreaking. I felt down to myself. I felt like quitting a sport that I've been playing all my life. All I had to do was score one play. And I couldn't do that for my teammates, coaches, let alone myself. So you know what? I thought about walking away from the game. Yeah, I really thought about it. What's even more heartbreaking, kind of found out from my dad. College didn't recruit me because of my grades. You can have all the talent in the world, but these schools want you to be smart in the classroom too. You know what, I really feel like giving up. I mean, I really did. But after the game, my brother instantly knew something was wrong. So you asked me. Bro, you all right? I, I just slimpy told him. Nah, I'm not all right. I feel like just giving all up, man. Just quit football in general. And he told me, ain't no need to be going doing that. You know how many legends have failed and 
the field and the field time and time after again. Many of them, man. They don't let one play determine their career or the outcome. They get back up and they come harder than they did the first time. That's what you got to do. Also, you need to pick up the grades. Cause these colleges don't care about how good you are. You could be the best in the nation, but if your grades ain't right, they're not going to come calling. And you know what, bro? You got a point. You, you definitely got a point. You know what? First thing first, man, I need to hit these books hard. I mean, hard. That's the first step. Second step, man, I'm going to call harder than I ever have. You better believe that. And this is my story. Man, I got to keep my word, man. I got to hit these books. It's got to. My brother told me, you could be the most talented. But these schools want to see them book smart, too. You know what? That's what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to put my head in these books and study my ass off. I have to, man. Now here I am, man, studying my ass off. When all of a sudden, I get a phone call. Yes, can I speak to Martel Pickney Jr., please? Uh, yeah, you speaking to him. What can I help you with? Yeah, so teacher, Mr. Anderson. I just want to inform you, Pickney, that you have definitely passed all your tests of fine colors. I'm very proud of you, son. I know your parents will be too. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My brother, my parents gonna be proud, man. Myself, I'm proud of myself. Now I can focus on football. <sighs> thank you, sir. Once again, thank you. Alright, welcome, y'all, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope y'all enjoyed that backstory. Now we can start getting into a little bit of this gameplay. Now he is, he did make it to the Under Armour All-American game. That's something, it's a special honor, man. a very special honor. So I hope y'all like that backstory. Now we're going to get into fun, good stuff right here. And I downloaded the Under Armour white and black team and we're going to get straight to see the gameplay. Kind of a little few little highlights of what's going on and his decision will be coming up after the game. So stay tuned. What's going on, people? Man, it's me, Create, and we are currently down 3 zip. We are the black team, man. It's third in this. So, hopefully, we can pick up this first down right here with Pickney Jr. in the halfback counter. Good thing he saw that corner blitz, and we do pick up the first down, man. Let's go. And now, I'm so excited, man, for this series. I think it's no series like no other, as far as for me. And it's only going to get better from here. It's Pickney bouncing to the outside. That play was, was supposed to go straight up the gut, but his vision definitely led him away to a 14-yard game. As we are up 7 zip, first and 10 here, not the halfback counter. He trying to turn on the Jets and bounce to the outside. And he do. He pick up 12 yards on the, on the rush. First and 10 here. You know, the quarterback on the pressure. He's under pressure. And he going to get out of there, man. Pick up a six-yard gain. That could have been a disaster, but he do pick up six on the play. And that's the end of the first quarter, man. We up 3-7-3. All right, man. Start of the second quarter. It's second and four here. Three spread him out. There's safety coming. You don't want to do that. As a quarterback, I definitely see that and definitely want audible. A little dig route to Jones. And Jones breaks a tackle, man. Let's go. Pick up for 21 on the play. Let's go. Right, first and 10. Now, if you really want to know how to download the rosters, I will do a video on that. That's Pickney. That's not a good way to start off the drive, man, going backwards. Negative two on the play. If you do want to know how I did this, man, I will drop a video on it. So let me know in the comment section. Got second and 12 here. A little screen pass. Something that's in Pick Martell's. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> 
Something that's in that's definitely in his repertoire, man. Catching out of the backfield. A third and six. We was gonna do a little speed option. We're gonna go ahead and pass this. And Jones over the middle for his second catch of this drive, man. Pick up of 10. Let's go. Now, like I said, man, I'm definitely, definitely gonna have fun with this one. Another screen pad. It looks like he's gonna pay off because they are blitzing up heavy off that left side. And what we thought was gonna pick up a lot more than that. Pick up of one on the play. But 39 here. It's gonna be a game, man. It's definitely gonna be a game. I feel like I, I think he's only gonna play the, the first half. It's Johnson on the under reception. That's full. We gotta go for that. This is still the All American All Star game. We got to go for it, Coach. And Coach called a play, man. Go for it. Fourth and one. We out here having fun too. Fourth and one. And like I say, he will make a decision, man. He won't play the whole game. It's just the first half. Fourth and one. And Louis gonna take off and get the TD. Let's go. All right, first and ten. Another halfback counter right here. Oh, he gone. He gone. He turned on the wheels, man. The hot wheels is definitely. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I had fun playing an all-star game, but it's decision time. As you all know, I have come a long way, a very long way, from the streets of Atlanta to moving to Texas, starting fresh. <laughs> Biggest game of my high school career, man, on one play, I couldn't make a play. Failing grades, but I picked myself back up, man. Got the grades. What can I say? I'm just blessed, man. Just blessed. But not further ado, I will be attending college at. This is the University of Michigan. What a football game we're going to have here this afternoon. You are looking live at a sold out 103,000 Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor. And the football game from Ann Arbor. And the nation will rock with the praises of the maize and blue this season. Where we respect integrity and honor excellence. And the jubilation and cheering long into the night. Here come the Wolverines. We are loyal Wolverines. Today, your football team is number one in the country, and it's all right here. Standing for Midwestern values, hard work, determination, and an enthusiasm unknown to mankind. The old season is over. It's going to be missing again. We are the best university in the world. Students and athletes and professors achieving at the highest level. You better believe it. This is our legacy and our future. We are proud members of the Big Ten Conference in pursuit of national championships. We'll win this championship, man. We have won more games than any team in the country. No one has won more. We believe in football. We did. Championship football. He has got the challenges. For Braylon, up in the air, touchdown! Touchdown, Billy Taylor! Shoelaces dropping in the wind! We shy away from no challenge or opponent. Brady! We bow to no man. We bow to no program. We are Michigan. Michigan.